Hey guys, it's Jen from My Create Crafts. So my number one video seems to be my decals. So I'm going to be working on some more decals. And this one I particularly really, really like. I think it's going to be great to put on my car. And I also think it's going to be a great seller. If you can't tell, it's an eagle. So here's the eagle. Here's the eye here. Here's the other eye here. And then it's got the American flag behind it. I think that is very symbolic. And I think it's going to sell really great. And I, like I said, I'm gonna love it on my car. So this is gonna be a really quick tutorial. I actually found this in Google. All I did was type in flag and I searched and searched and searched and I found this one and I so I uploaded it into Design Space and I cleaned it up with the contour button over here. I can show you really quick. So once you click on it, you can click on the contour button and then you can go in here and clean up whatever you want to. There was a few pieces in here, which I should have left it before. Um, Kind of like right here, you can see there's a line. I took that out. There's a line here. I took that one out and I took the line out here. Um, just so when it cuts, it will cut a lot easier so I don't have to weed all that out. So that's how I did that. So just click out of it. But I love this. What do you guys think? Give me a thumbs up. Do you like this? Does this look cool to you? Do you have another one that I could possibly work with? Um, I'm really into the American flag. I think it's really important right now, especially. So I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on this. I'm just going to cut Cut this out and then I'm going to weed it which is going to be very easy to weed out because it looks like everything is attached to each other so that's why I went in and kind of cleaned it up so it's gonna be very easy to weed out I'm just gonna put it on black and then maybe do some white and then I'm also going to be doing just some black flags as well I shouldn't say black flags I'm going to be cutting out a flag but it's going to be in black um, vinyl and it's going to go on like the back of a pickup truck um that little window in the middle i have a ford f-150 so i'm going to make one for right in the middle right here um so if you're interested in that let me know i can do a video tutorial on that as well um but that's basically it i just found it on google cleaned it up really quick and the only other thing i want to do is resize this so i'm thinking around five inches wide and then maybe about six and a half wide so we're going to see what that looks like I think that's pretty good. I can get a few of them on one mat. If I'm using a 24 by tw uh, 12 mat, I think that would work really, really well. So I'm gonna duplicate this a couple of times so I have it selected already. I'm gonna go to duplicate, and then as many times as you wanna do this, um, if you want this particular file or not. Um, so I'm just duplicating it and I'll have four because I have duplicated it twice. And once that comes up, I'm gonna wanna select them all and then do it one more time. So that should give me eight of them. I'm gonna see how many I can fit on a 12 by 24 mat. Um, but if you guys have any questions, let me know. Like I said, this is just a very quick tutorial. If you're interested in learning step-by-step -step how to make your own car decals, um, go back. I have quite a few videos on those. Um, this is just going to be one showing you what this particular one looks like. Like I said, I'm gonna be putting one on my car, on my truck, and then I'm going to be putting them for sale as well as the three stores that I'm in in LA you know guys know how it goes I'm really happy I'm actually on my third store right now and I also have an ebook for sale if anybody's interested it kind of gives you all the details of where to look how to start um, what kind of information you should need some um, licenses you need you need a license to sell things at most places so it kind of gives you all that information so if you case you're interested in it I do have an ebook for sale everything goes towards my uh, YouTube channel so every sale is really appreciated and goes towards making more videos so I'm gonna see what this looks like really quick I'm gonna click on make it um, because I did it as one file it came all attached I didn't have anything else to do with it so like I said I'm just gonna weed this out and then I'm gonna show you really quickly how to package them up but like I said I have quite a few videos showing you how to do this so I just clicked on the material size down here. I'm gonna click on 12 by 24. We're gonna see how many I can get on a 24 inch mat. Let's see, I think I have two left over. So I'm gonna start with just these few here and I'm gonna not even deal with these two at the bottom. But when I sell these, I like to have a nice straight crisp line. So I'm gonna drag this over to the other side and I'm just gonna pull this one down a little bit more. And same thing, pull this to the right side. And the reason I'm doing that is because, like I said, I like to have a nice crisp line and I like to have enough room in between 
that I can cut in here um, and make a nice line. So when you are selling this, you want it to look really nice. So I think I'm actually gonna go down to the next line so I can match it up right here. And then it'll be just a nice quick line in between. Maybe I'll do that here too really quick. And that looks better. Maybe I'll go to the next line or maybe not. Um, so I'm just trying to match them up so that when I take my scissors, I can just go right across and not even worry about it. So I'm going to do these four, um, sorry, six, six of these. And I'm going to show you really quick. I'm just going to push continue. Like I said, I'm not worried about this mat here. I'm not going to cut that one out, so I'm not even going to move it or anything. I'm going to show you quickly which setting I use. I always go to either the stencil vinyl setting or the washi tape. Um, but please make sure that you're using a sharp uh, blade. If you don't have a sharp blade, it definitely will not cut through all the way. So this is why I say in the stencil vinyl here or the washi sheet. Um, either of those work really, really well for me. And then I also make sure I change my blade every once in a while. I think it's like every three months or so. Once you start seeing, it depends how many times you use it in like a month. I use my Cricut several times each day. So I go through a lot of um, blades. So if, you're, if you need a new blade, definitely go ahead and buy some more. I'll leave a link down below where I get mine. I get mine for 25 cents a piece. So it's really very inexpensive. So I'm gonna go ahead right here and click this stencil vinyl. And I'm going to actually go to more right here. Um, it depends on how you want to do it. I just want to make sure it goes really uh, nicely through and it cuts uh, out perfectly. So I'm going to set up my mat. I'm just using a green standard mat, uh, the 12 by 24. So for this particular one, I was going to use black, but actually I'm out of black, so I'm going to be changing it to this Tech Wrap Craft Vinyl. It's a beautiful silver color. I've used Tech Wrap Craft Vinyl before, and I absolutely love it, and I think it's going to look gorgeous on my car. So I'm going to cut this out. I'll weed them out, and then I'll show you quickly how I cut them out and how I package them. But like I said, if you're interested, I have many videos showing you how to uh, create your own and how to package and all that stuff. So this is just going to be a quick tutorial. I'm showing you how to do this in case you're interested. Um, I don't have the file to give you, and unfortunately, um, once it's in Design Space, I can't share it. So if you just go into Google and look it up, you should be able to find one that you can just clean up. Or if you're not even good with that, you can go to Etsy and purchase some. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this, and I will show you what it looks like when it's all done being weeded. All right, so I rough cut these out really quick, so I just have one at a time. I'm going to take my transfer tape and then carefully go over this. I can find the edge on it. And just carefully go over the top. You want to start at the top and make sure there's no air bubbles or anything in here. So I'm putting it on the counter, and then I can just roll it right on here so it's nice and flat. And I can flip it upside down and cut away my transfer tape. Now, thinking about it, it would have been easier if I would have just taken all four of them and done it. But I've done that in the past, and then sometimes I get wrinkles on it like this, and it's a little bit harder. So I just do one at a time like this. Then I take my scraper, and I scrape on here really well so that your transfer tape is going to stick to your vinyl. Then comes the important part. We're gonna to wanna to cut around it to make it look nice. So I have this, it's just a Fiskars paper cutter. It works really, really great. So I'm gonna take this off of the counter. And the easiest way to do it is to trim around the edges here so it doesn't get stuck to your paper cutter. I'm not cutting the paper, I'm just cutting the extra transfer taper on the edges up here. so it's easier. Like I said, if you do all four at the same time, it is a lot easier and you're saving transfer tape. But because this is a larger file, it's a little bit harder to get it straight. So I just do it this way. So I just rough cut the edges. Now I'm gonna go in with my paper cutter, which works really, really well, and get a straight cut on this. So just like that nice straight cut that I wouldn't be able to do with the scissors or eyeballing. So I'm just doing the same thing, taking it and cutting it. And this just makes it look a lot nicer when you're going to sell it. See, it doesn't look much better. So I'm just going to keep going all the way around the edges, making a nice straight cut. Just like that. 
So you can see how pretty the vinyl is showing up here. This paper cutter works really, really well instead of a scissors. So then again, just to make sure I take my squeegee one more time and just rub on it to make sure that it's sticking. Then one last thing I like to do is always just check and make sure that it actually is sticking to the transfer tape so that when you give it to somebody, you know that it sticks. So there it is. The last thing I like to do is um, put them in a bag to sell them. So depending on how big your um, file is or your image, you want to find a bag. So I have these bags that I bought off of Amazon. It has a nice little top part here where you peel off and then you can close it. And then I also went and cut some of these out. So I got this off of Google. I just searched decal application instruction, found this one, printed a whole bunch, used my paper cutter again, got nice straight lines on here. So I'm going to add that as well. It just tells the people how to um, apply it to their surface. So I'm just going to take my decal, put it in the front so that when you see it, it looks nice and then the peeled part will go in the back. And then I take that piece of paper and throw that in here too. You can put your business card in here if you want. You can put like the price tag in there if you want, but that's how I do it. And then you just take the top part here, peel this back, and then pull it down. And then I like to try to get some of the air out as I'm pushing it so it looks just like this. So here's the instructions and here's the front part. So this is a start to finish how to make these decals. If you're interested, I have a bunch more decal instructions uh, videos for you guys. If you're interested, I'm just going to keep going. These are my number one um, videos. So stay tuned for some more and happy crafting. Leave any questions you might have down below. I have all my supplies in the description box below. Happy crafting.